Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we are playing Dota 2 but boosted made by Dr. Teaspoon. Now, I've been wanting to do a summon build for a while and there's a few heroes in the game that you can do a proper summon build with. Now, when I say a proper summon build, I mean a build, by the way, somebody just rung the bell of awakening. With a proper summon build, I mean a build where you can actually upgrade the stats of your summons, like increase their health, increase their attack damage. Not every summon hero can do that. For example, Enigma can't. Sadly, Wardog also can't. That would have been a nice one. Anyway, point being, Invoker can. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade our Forge Spirits. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and claim sole credit for what you're about to see. I definitely had a team backing me up there. The Doom was eating up everything on the map and making us a ton of gold and buying a shit ton of tickets. And the Trium Protector was keeping my, my Forge Spirits alive. Anyway, this ended up being a bit of a fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed and let's get right into it. Okay, we are in Volker. We gotta go ahead and grab ourselves a Hand of Midas. Because we're Invoker and we're gonna be doing some Invokering. And so I will get a Hand of Midas. And we're just gonna go bottom. Whatever. Doom can have mid if you want mid. I don't care. We're gonna upgrade Forge Spirits and we're gonna be happy. That's my plan. I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> but we'll see. Invoker of course gets a lot of upgrades. Oh, he gets a lot of upgrades. And because he gets so many upgrades, he's pretty good at, um, you know, finding something that's at least somewhat... Well. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. There's just too many upgrades immediately. So here's our plan. We're going to primarily go for the Forge Spirits whenever we can. And secondarily, we're going to go for Alacrity. Because then we can buff the Forge Spirits with alacrity, right? And then they are really strong. That's, that's I think, a good strategy. So that's our secondary, secondary level up thing. Oh no, I regret this. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, my poor invoker. All right, there. See, we immediately get health, duration, but we wanna get health. That's the main thing, because health is actually pretty important. I've done the summon base builds in this mode before, and you want to get health upgrades whenever you can. If you don't get health upgrades whenever you can, you just end up very sad because your summons die to literally everything. <laughs> and that's kind of depressing. The nice thing about the Forge Spirits is that they actually do have a good of a good amount of like base health. Which is very good. <clears throat> Forge Spirit Count Extra Count Exhort has been reported not working. Not sure if it's just that the Quasmon only works or that they need to be upgraded together. Alright, I'll see, I'll see. So, we're gonna go ahead and summon ourselves a Forge Spirit. Get this big boy. There we go. He doesn't, he doesn't really do that much yet, but I just wanted to get him out there. <laughs> I just wanted to show him off. You know, let everybody know that our buddy is here. That our friend is here to do some work. And to be honest, eh, he'll do okay. I mean, I mean, that's okay, right? Like, that's fine. That's, we're happy with that. Of course, by the way, just to make clear, Amoka can do many things that are incredibly powerful that aren't this garbage. Oh, yeah. Amoka, good hero. Like, in, he's got a lot of abilities and he can upgrade them in really nice ways. Uh, we're not doing any of that today. What we're doing today is really bad. Good. Great. I'm glad that we're all on the same page. No, I'll leave my Forge Spirit alone. I actually got like 640 HP already. Like that health upgrade early on was really good. No, my Forge Spirit. Alright, there it goes. <laughs> there we go. Attack speed per instance, all more. Yes. Thank you. I'm not sure if that will actually work, but hey, we'll upgrade it. That sounds reasonable enough. Going up against this kind of spooky lane. I heard Queen of Pain is sometimes played as a support these days. Is that right? I mean, I can see why. It just still feels a little weird to me. <clears throat> Your tower is under 
Hello there. Hand of Midas. With the Hand of Midas, we're gonna be making some money. We're gonna be getting some experience. Get that Forge Spirit out there. Look at this guy! Look at him go! There, that's my, that's my Forge Spirit, friend. It's actually, oh no. Uh, no, Fred! <laughs> well, he tried his best. Look, we still need more upgrades. Like, a lot more upgrades. <laughs> Living armor? What am I gonna do with living armor? Are you gonna living armor my forge spirit? Oh my god. I mean, that sounds incredible. There you go. What a, what a god this forge spirit is now. 13 armor. Right, and I can... Uh, wait, what was alacrity again? This was alacrity. There we go. Forgot for a moment. <laughs> Alright, we have our Forge Spirit. We have Alacrity. Sorry, I had to resummon this guy. It was kind of low. And uh, the shame of this is just that it doesn't last that long yet. So we're going to need that to, to have a much longer duration. But we will, you know, we will get that. We're going to be working on that. What is this? Oh, I don't care about this. Why, why would I care about any of that? No, no, no. We'll grab ourselves the next level of Quas, because now I spawn two Forge Spirits. Yes. Spirit count, we can increase that. Armor removed per hit. So that's this. Hmm, I'm gonna increase the Spirit count. I assume we are going to need that to be two before we actually see an additional spirit. Buy wards, place wards. Well, somebody sure should do that, yeah. Uh, armor remove per hit. Sounds good. Alright. I'm gonna add 960 HP. We can... Uh, what do I buy? I'm gonna buy a Vladimir's. I'm gonna build auras for my forge spirits. <laughs> we can get attack range. Well, I'm gonna remove parade, but I don't care that much about that. And yeah, we'll get more attack range. Upgrade quest some more. And then we can get the extra attack speed on the forge spirits soon. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Just resummon. <laughs> they actually do a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, they unironically actually hit really hard. <laughs> so that's very nice. Ooh, is that a situation? I'm gonna bring in the spirits. Oh crap. You're a spirit. But you're an evil spirit. Oh, okay. Sipping away here. Hmm. Do I something that isn't just summoning Forge Spirits? I think I do use my other abilities, right? Alright. Go get him, Spirits. <laughs> I'm leaving. <gasps> no! Okay. Gotta go. <laughs> Gotta go. Sorry. <laughs> I got I got to get out of there. That's no good. That's no good. All right, we'll activate these. I think I want to build these boots of bearing so I can make my forge spirits run faster. We will grab more quas. Oh wait. Sorry. Overshot that a little bit. There it is. So they're actually pretty tanky. Look at that. 1760 HP. 
That is not too bad at all. Oh no. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. That's not gonna be enough. Well, we get ourselves a tax speed here. I'm gonna need mana. I mean, I am Invoker, and I can I can feel my mana pool just running low already. So Aghanims increases the level of all of my stuff by one, right? So we do need Aghanims. Let me finish up the Boots of Bearing, and then get an Aghanim Scepter. And we can get ourselves more Quas. So that is now sort of maxed out. Wait, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> that was actually that was actually just a lot of damage, right? I don't care that much about duration. Duration is something where we're good. I mean, we kind of blasted a hole into that Wraith King. So we gotta get ourselves more Aghanims here. How are you all doing? Do you guys have any cool invoker tips for me? I'm always... This is definitely a hero that I always find just a tad bit too much. Although I fully understand why people like him. Alright. It's just a bit intense. Here you go, Forge Spirit. Oh shit. Oh no, where did you go? Come back! I'm out of mana! <laughs> See, that's what I said. <gasps> ah, This is exactly the problem. Oh man. Get him? Hmm. Oh, I'm being yeeted. Alright, go get him, Forge Spirit. I think I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm just gonna let the Forge Spirits handle this. I'm just small invoker. Forge Spirits are really what's in charge here. We can get... What can we get? Duration on Alacrity. Thank you. No, I definitely want more duration there. Attack range is good. And we can get Alacrity, Damage, and Speed. Max out Vex. Cool tip. Use E three times and it gives Sunstrike. Does it now? Hmm. Is that a good ability, though? No. Go get him! I think I need to leave. No! That stun duration is way too brutal. My Forge Spirits don't do any damage. <laughs> oh, they're trying so hard. They are trying so hard. But they're doing truly nothing. So that's, that's not ideal, I gotta say. It's really not, not working out great right there. <laughs> okay. Okay, do I now summon more spirits? Yeah, there you go, I got free. Yes, more health. Although, as much as health is nice, I sure need some damage as well. Because like right now we we don't we don't actually we don't actually do any. You know, going from no damage to, you know, a little bit would definitely be a significant improvement at the current point in time. Alright, well, we'll get more health. I don't think mana is actually useful because these guys don't use mana anymore. Yeah. The, uh, like, the attack trigger that they have used to use mana, but it doesn't anymore, so it's kind of pointless. I'll get more duration, though. 
Okay. Hello. <laughs> hey, what is this? <laughs> no! <laughs> Make it stop? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, don't do this to me! No! <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> oh, okay. Oh no. Oh, I'm being yeeted. So our current problem may or may not be that we have cool forge spirits and they are quite hard to kill. I mean, they have like 3000 HP, but they do no damage at all. Like not even a little bit. So that's a problem. And I'm not entirely sure what I can do about it. Yep. I mean, I, I guess I buy a blood thorn. With a blood thorn, I might be able to actually do some, some damage. And of course, alacrity. Now you might say, Bami, you could just alacrity yourself. And to you I say, shut the hell up. <laughs> That's not what I'm here for. <laughs> I don't want to hear this. Who do you think you are, frankly speaking? Okay. We can get more attack range. Oh shit, BKB. No! Don't eat my creep! <laughs> Your middle tower is under attack. I, I, that is... That is cold-hearted. That is absolutely brutal. I have to say. Okay. Your video idea booster, but you can only reduce values. Okay, so let me just kind of ask you really quick. What do you think how that game would play out? And I don't mean to be rude. It's just this is a suggestion that comes up a lot. And I just, it, it's one of those things where I feel like if you think about it for literally a split second, you will immediately see a flaw with it. Like, if what we do is we just decrease all of the values of all the all the things. Oh my god, damage. Yes, thank you. Oh my god, yes, damage. Oh, ooh, they are strong now. They do 200 damage. <laughs> reduce attack times all over. Wait, no. You can't reduce attack times all over. Reducing attack times isn't that easy. There's like three heroes in the game that can effectively reduce their attack times. It's just not not something most most heroes can do. If that's your expectation, I guess there's that can be true, I suppose. But there's like then a following consequence. Oh my god! Holy shit! What happened to my wow? My forge spirits are just popping off. Yes, more damage. <clears throat> But for most heroes, right, for the absolute vast majority of heroes, downgrading your abilities does not make them better. It makes them significantly worse. Which I believe is also sort of the point of the suggestion. Ah! Ah, I'm being chased! Ah, I'm being chased! Go, go get that one. No, my spirits. Get this one. 
<laughs> no, let me down. <laughs> Okay, okay, it worked, it worked, it worked. Yeah, five spirits now. No, yeah, I kind of do, but I don't summon them all at once, which is really funny. Like, I think the bonus spirits I summon, like, don't replace themselves, weirdly. So I can have, like, multiple spirits from, like, multiple summons. Max stacks. There's some maximum? Alright, spirit count. Bonus attack speed. Yeah. Get that. Get that. Vex up. Alright. <clears throat> it won't be interesting. Everyone would be playing as a creep. Exactly. Right? If what we do is we just make it so you have to reduce your abilities. There are... Well, the, the first thing that would happen is that people would just pick an ability to reduce. And then just not use it. Right? Like, if I'm playing let's say, Bounty Hunter, and I have no abilities that benefit from being reduced, yeah. what I do is I just downgrade, I don't know, Invis. And then I just don't use the Invis. So, at that point, it's like really Dota 2, but every hero is missing one of the abilities. What we could then say, right, is, okay, let's not let people just do that. Let's not just let people ignore the mode in this way. You have to actually, you know, Upgrade multiple abilities. Well, downgrade them. Oh my god, all of my Fort Spurs just got kind of annihilated. But what would happen then? Let's say we do that instead. Alright, I got my Fort Spurs on. So everybody is downgrading all of the abilities now. And all of the abilities are bad. Well, at that point, it's just gonna turn into a right-click fest, right? Everybody's just gonna be right-clicking everybody else. That's it. Everybody is just gonna be, like, building a right-click build because your abilities are bad and there's no value to building, um, on, like, building around your abilities and doing anything interesting with them. So what you do instead is you get a right-click build, like everybody in the game would. And at that point, I just wonder, why would we, why would we bother? Now there's a third option, which is that we allow oil pick, and everybody gets to just pick whichever hero they think is the best if all you can do is downgrade. But then all we end up with is a lobby full of interval-based heroes. And except, uh, but with the one exception being that unlike, which is what we normally do, we tell people to not downgrade intervals because intervals are boring and just make it so that everybody's one-shotting each other. We are now telling people, oh, you may only downgrade intervals. You can't do anything else. They would probably still have to abandon one of their other abilities. But does that sound interesting? I don't know. To me, it really doesn't. Like, to me, this sounds terrible. Five. Well, that's just my opinion. Leave my forge... Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy's just blowing up all of my spirits. Oh shit, get fucked up. Oh, get fucked up. <laughs> oh no, I just lost my spirits. Well, I buffed up that creep, I guess. Alright. Ooh, more duration. They have a really long duration now. Five minutes. Nearly. <clears throat> yeah, either everyone is weak, or it's a lobby filled with 10 people one-shotting each other with instant intervals. Yeah, those are the only two possibilities, really, if we just only allow downgrading. And does that... I don't know. I don't know. I, it just doesn't sound interesting to me. Right? That's why I haven't done it. 
It's not because I haven't had the idea. It's just because it's doesn't sound fun. Oh my god. This guy just hard counters me. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you do, I would appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. It genuinely matters, and thank you. Also, I'm currently working on a cute little puzzle game called Sweet Dreams Alex. Please check it out on Steam. Link below. If you like it, please wishlist it. Thanks. Alright, daughter time. Alright, more health. Oh my god, how much HP do we have? 5,500. I mean, that gotta be good enough. Like, to some extent, right? I gotta be worth something. Let me get a pipe. Alright, maybe that'll help. Some magic resistance. I mean, the spirits are actually genuinely strong. We'll get more attack speed from this. Yeah, and I can kind of like stock up a bunch of spirits this way. Go get him. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, the spirits are actually popping off. Go get him, friends. Do you guys like my army? Because I sure do. Alright, I have this little guy now. I'm just kind of trying to protect my spirits as much as possible. Yes! Yes, it worked! <laughs> oh my god, it totally did. Alright, more spirits, more spirits. Uh, more health? Extra spirit count. Let's increase that for what it's worth. More health. More damage. Get it? Oh, I'm dead. No! It's not enough. It's not enough on its own. What a what a what a waste of a an epic there. It's kind of disappointing, right? I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get Octarine. Cause I think we can then spam even more Forge Spirits. Do the spirits even use mana? They used to, but they don't anymore. They still have a mana pool, but it doesn't do anything. So I suppose it can have some relevancy for like mana burn heroes, but really it, it's it's an outdated element. Oh come on. Oh well, everybody's here. Okay. Oh, I got a kill. Holy shit. Oh, I got another kill. <laughs> oh my god, I got another kill. <laughs> Whoo, okay. Ah, that's that's it's fortune time. It definitely is fortune time. By the way, I don't mean to be mean about the whole, you know, like, downgrade only suggestion. It's just I've seen it so much. And I feel like, again, if you think about it for just a short little while, you will immediately see that it's maybe not the best idea. I have a different idea, though, that we can do 
that is in the same vein that uh, might that that's probably gonna be fun Ooh, gotta go gotta go we can uh, get extra spur count I don't know if that one does anything I'm just upgrading it more health we'll want to increase the spur count we want to increase the health we want to increase the health so these guys have 7300 health now which is actually quite a lot like that's actually just a lot of health how long does this last 22 seconds so it doesn't last forever but we can also precast it like it's a reasonable precast <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I trapped myself. That's not good. How strong are they? Oh, they are really strong. Look at them. <laughs> you gotta be real careful. Alright. I'm just trying to keep him alive. Oh, that's annoying. But we have this. I'm... Oh, God. <sighs> that Void Spirit is just insisting on making sure my... My big boys don't get to do anything. Alright. Here's my spirits. I'm gonna just stick them up here and have them push this lane. I, I can try to just backdoor a little bit, right? I want to increase duration mostly. I don't need more duration here. We wanted to report this. Let's increase the armor remove per hit. Why not? Alright. The Forge Spirits here are going to be pushing that. Three, two, one. Ooh, that's done. It's long, isn't it? Well, luckily we're not taking too much damage. We are not taking too much damage. Alright, you guys march down here. We will grab ourselves... Hmm... Guess the burn damage. Damage on the spirits. I don't think the extra spirit count cost does anything. Should probably report that one. Get health here. And we can get... Free storage? <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and cast this on here. Maximum stacks. I'm just pushing here. I'm just pushing here. Pushing bottom as well. Oh, we got racks. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, my, my split push actually got us two racks. <laughs> That's pretty good. That worked out really well. I got some money. I know, I'm just busy. It's okay, I'll deal with the money after I after I die. Alright. This spirit is a god, right? Look at this spirit. Like, this, this spirit is stronger than my hero. But like a significant margin. <laughs> this spirit is the best carry in Dota. <laughs> Alright, we'll send these guys in here. And do 
will get more armor. Yeah, I'm just, just letting them spirits rip, you know. I don't need to do anything myself. Yeah. Nope. No. Oh my god. Okay, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, they killed him. <laughs> this guy. Oh, man. Here. I brought I brought some more friends for you. While I'm resurrecting. If you don't mind. Oh. We'll get armor for what it's worth. Probably doesn't matter that much, but it's not terrible anyway. Bonus damage. Spirit count goes up. Health goes up. Attack range goes up. I have 45,000 gold. Increase the duration on the... Oh my god, guys. Okay, let me just, let me just spend my money really quick. Attack range goes up, attack range goes up, health goes up, spirit count goes up, um, armor goes up, health goes up, attack range goes up, bonus damage, okay. They have nearly 10,000 HP. <laughs> And 550 damage. And how long does... Like, how good is this? This lasts 36 seconds. Gets 600 attack speed and 500 damage. <laughs> is Roshan up? This one Forge Spirit will easily kill Roshan, right? Alright, these guys... You guys move in here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy to one versus one Roshan. If Roshan is up. Come on. <laughs> Look at my lad. Look at him go. Well, I don't really care about the edges. I don't need that. You can't kill me anyway. You need to kill my spirits. Get more duration. We'll get uh, armor removed per hit. Armor. Armor. I mean, they actually have a huge amount of armor as well, right? Like, look at that. They've got 50 armor. Help. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> I've got passive attack range. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Come here, friends. Here's my army. This is my fort spirits. Got this guy. Who's next? I've got an outshank. <laughs> I mean, I can easily kill the Ancient, but why would I? <laughs> why would I kill the Ancient? No, I killed it! The Creeps did mostly. <laughs> oh, man. That was so dumb. That was that was actually just straight up ridiculous. <laughs> it really took a while for it to do anything, but luckily the treant made them really really difficult to kill, and uh, with the alacrity they just became actual gods. So, um, Forge Spirit Master, look at that. By the way, I really hope I didn't come across as being too rude. I'm sorry, I'm really tired today, so I'm like worried now that because. Like, I was too mean about the downgrading idea. 
Um, but I really, when I say stuff like, you know, like, like think about it yourself, I genuinely mean just like try to encourage you to think about it from like a game design perspective, because I think it's really interesting. I don't mean that from like, ah, uh, oh, you got that, idiot. I don't mean it from that perspective. I really hope that came across properly. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to do a rating on the video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.